How you guys doing today is Lamar. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a new video for you guys. Um, I'm going to finish off my uh, trilogy video of fragrant, uh, fragrances that match the signs. Um, so previously I did Capricorns, I did Aquarius, I did Pisces, I did Aries, I did all my signs out there. So last but not least, we have a few of my favorite signs as well which is Virgos, Libras, Scorpios, and Sagittarius. Um, so I'm going to break down each fragrance for that sign and why I think it's appropriate for them. All right, so let's get it started. All right, so the first scent that I have, and this is for my Virgos, I'm going with Green Leaf from Parfums of Marley. Um, Greenly is a great scent for my Virgos because my Virgos are very practical, straight to the point, logical, super smart, close to detail. With this fragrance right here, it's very close to detail. It smells like apple, smells like oak moss, smells like mandarin, smells like bergamot, smells like mint. You can actually define each scent when you smell it. You could smell each note in there um, at different times. And that's what you want from my Virgos. My Virgos are very straight to the point. When you ask a Virgo their advice, they're going to break it down for you. They're going to give tell you what to do, how to do it, when to do it. And they always make you uh, become your best. I love my Virgos for that. I always go to I go always go to to get advice from my Virgos because they always pay attention close to detail. Um, not most of the time. Sometimes they don't use it for themselves, but if they do um give you give you advice they're going to give you the best advice out there you know i love my virgos they love fashion they always look good they always are um paying attention to their surroundings so green leaf from parfums of molly would be a great scent for my virgos um you're going to get that nature smell you're going to get that green fresh smell and women and men could wear it because it's versatile so um, Greenly is the first scent for my Virgos out there. All right. Second scent I have is for my Libras, and I'm going with Rose 31 from Lalabo. The reason why I pick Lalabo specifically because with Libras, they're so. What? How? How can I explain this? They're kind of indecisive about their mood. They go upon. Um, they're very practical when it comes to their mood and how they are because they're very fair so it depends who the uh libra is around they'll be uh act according to that so with the labo rose 31 you get to kind of compound your own scent so that's why i picked this it's kind of personalized just like libras if a libra is around Let's say a Scorpio, they'll pick up the Scorpio tendencies. If the Libra is around a uh, Taurus, they'll pick up that grounded tendencies. Libras are really good with absorbing people around them for creativeness, for um, feeling happy. They love people. They love to be around people. They're very outgoing. Um, they're very um, outspoken as well. A Libra will tell you off in a minute. And I think Rose 31 is a great scent. It has some... A little bit of argo wood in there has some rose um it's just a mixture of so many scents um and that's why i think my libras it will be great for them because libras you cannot put them in a box there are so many different libras out there i've met so many libras in my life and they all were different depending on who they're around and how they grew up so i feel like we want a great mutable kind of scent and i'm going with rose 31 for my libras all right the third scent I have, which is for my Scorpios. Um, Scorpios is one of my favorite signs out there um, when it comes to loyalty, when it comes to friendship. Um, they're very straight to the point. They're mysterious. They have a great mystique about them. Um, they're always angry sometimes. Um, but I feel like they just show their mood. A lot of people are angry out here sometimes or not that happy. Um, no one wake up every day and be uh, and is happy. So I feel like a Scorpio just showing their the true colors, which is kind of real. You know, I like that. So I'm going with MFK Satin Mood <laughs> just because they're moody. Not because they're moody, but because they bring a mood with them. 
um, satin mood has the benzoin, has the vanilla, has the oud in there, has some florals in there, violets. And this scent right here is so deep, seductive, dark. Look at the bottle, it's dark. And I think that's my Scorpio. Scorpio is a very dark, deep. Um, you don't really get to know a Scorpio unless they want you to know um, about them. Like they won't just openly tell you about themselves. You kind of got to break them down layer by layer. And that's satin mood right there. You spray it on. Initially, it gives you one scent. Then it breaks down to like some violets and some vanilla and some sweetness. It might go sweet on you. It might go deep on you. It might go smoky on you, depending on how you take it. And just like a Scorpio is how you take a Scorpio. Um, that's how they'll transform you. They can be sweet. They can be deep. They can be dark. They can be mean, depending on how you are to them. Um, they'll exude the same thing. So I think Satin Mood is a great scent for my Scorpios. And I'm curious to see if my Scorpios agree with this one, if they have this scent. Um, if you're a Scorpio, try this out, all right? And then last but not least, I'm going with my Sagittarius. I'm going with Viking. Um, a Sagittarius is, if you look at this sign, they're half man, half horse. I don't care if it's a female Sagittarius, male Sagittarius, they all have a strong personality. I've been friends with many female Sagittarius and they always was very strong, driven. They always had a powerful uh, aura about them. It was like, I can't even define them as woman or man. They're just like half horse, half man. So I'm going with Viking because they're just like a Viking when it comes to their personality. They go for what they want. They're strong. They're optimistic. They can't be pinned down. They're traveling. They're going around the world. They're fiery, but yet airy because they're mutable and all over the place. Um, I love my Sagittarius. I like to work with Sagittarius because they're, they're driven. They're going to make me drive and be better as well. We're going to help each other. So I like to work around Sagittarius. So Viking by Creed with the bergamot and the fiery florals in there and some deep woody notes in there this scent tends to be a little bit on the masculine side and i'm, I'm going to be honest with you but i feel like my sagittarius can take it because most of my sagittarius clients like the unisex scents they wear the aventus they wear the root 540 but then one day they might wear the oriana from um parfums of marley when they're feeling kind of soft and sweet but one day they might wear the viking you know that's what i love about my sagittarius you can't pin them down and put a label on them. They'll wear something fiery one day, they'll wear something sweet one day. And that's what I love about them. So that's my sense I have for all the signs. Um, the last signs that I did was Virgo, I did Libra, I did Scorpio, and my Sagittarius. Um, tell me in the comments what you guys think. Do you believe these signs um, attract to these scents and they uh, exude these scents? Like, is this scent? compatible with them. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and give the video a thumbs up if I helped you and made you laugh and subscribe for more. All right. Peace.